I am Anil Kumar. In this particular video, we will link prime factors with lowest common multiple and greatest common factor. The question here is, find prime factors of 18 and 24 and then use your result to find greatest common factor and lowest common multiple. So let us learn this technique. So the first step is to find prime factors of these numbers. For 18, let's do prime factorization. 18 could be written as 3 times 6 and 6 can be written as 3 times 2, right? So, so we get prime factorization of 18 as 18 could be now written as 2 times 3 times 3, right? as product of prime numbers. That is what we call prime factors. Let's do the same thing for 24. 24, you know, is 6 times 4, for example. 6 could be written as 3 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2. So in terms of prime numbers, 24 can be written as product of 2, 2, 2, that is 8 times 3, 24. Correct? Now, these are the prime factors. When we are looking for LCM, we are looking for... Now, when we are looking for greatest common factor, we are actually first looking into common factors, and then we have to multiply them to get the greatest common factor, right? So, the common factors are... 2 and 2, also 3 and 3. And therefore, we get LCM, sorry, we get GCF, greatest common factor, as 2 times 3, which is 6. Now, how do you find LCM from here? That's kind of tricky. What we do here is, we take help of Venn diagrams to find LCM. So let me show you how we can find LCM from these prime factors. I hope you remember Venn diagrams. Let's recall. We'll represent these two circles as factors of 18 and 12. So this is the first circle which will show you factors of 18. The other circle will represent factors of 24, the prime factors. Okay. As we have seen, the common factors are 2 and 3. So I could write them in center. This is intersection of these two which represents factors common right, to both 18 and 24. So that is common factors. To find the greatest common factor, what do we do? We multiply them. We get 2 times 3 equals to 6. So that is how we get the greatest common factor. Now to get the least common multiple, we'll actually fill in the other factors. For 18, the factors are 3, 3, and 2. 1, 3, and 2 has been taken care of. We are left with 1, 3. So 3, 3, and 2. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 2, 18. Perfect. For 24, we have already taken care of 2 times 3. Now we are left with these two 2's. So we write 2 and 2 here. So you can check 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 3, 24. The least common multiple now can be calculated very easily by just multiplying these terms. So what we get here is 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 9 times 8, 72. You get it. So when you multiply all these prime factors, you get least common multiple. Is that clear, right? So that is how you do it. So let me just show you also the 
a method which you know, uh, which we'll say alternate method. Alternate method to find LCM and GCF was to write all the factors of 18 and 24. So the factors of 18 are 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. So these are the factors of 18. Factors of 24 are 1 times 24, 2 times 12. 3 times 8 and 4 times 6. Now from this list of factors you can circle the common factors. Common factors being 1, 2, 3 and 6. Clearly the greatest common factor between 18 and 24 is 6 right so that is your standard way of doing however in this method you have to list so many factors and for multiples what you had been doing write multiples right so 18 multiples are 18 times 2 36 times 3 3 times 8 24 54 times 4 twice 36 which is 72 and so on and for 24 the multiples will be 24, 48, and then 3 times 24 is 72. So we clearly see that the lowest common multiple is 72, right? But we have to write all the multiples. At times, this list could be very, very long, right? And therefore, the method which we have adopted using prime factors becomes a very effective method. So I hope you also understand why we should be doing this using prime factors. So I hope you find it useful and interesting. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.